Hi there, my name is Mark Price and you're looking at a few clips from a zombie film I directed called Colin, which used a lot of household makeup effects and was made for a very small amount of money. Now, the infected adults in Charlie Higson's The Enemy series aren't really zombies. Uh, fans and characters from the series call them sickos. And the key to playing an effective sicko is as much to do with body language as it is with makeup effects. Now, try to keep your movements fast and erratic. Lots of snarling and frothing at the mouth would be good and scary. A liquid latex can be used to create wounds and blisters. Uh, get a thin layer and dab it onto the skin. It comes out white, but when it dries it will go clear. I keep pressing it down to let more air in, that should help it dry a little bit faster. And when the latex is dry, you can dab even more on top and build up the layers to make uh, an even deeper wound, get nasty flaps of skin. You can wait for it to dry or use a hairdryer, but be careful not to burn any poor volunteer playing sickos in your trailer. Now, our actor here is quite hairy, so it's a little bit painful for him, but peel back the dry latex and it should look like broken skin. Use some thick pus or another product called yellow bruise gel to cover the dry latex. It should make it nice and slimy. Then take some makeup that's called congealed or thick blood and mix it in with the pus to create a proper broken skin look. Tuck it right inside and underneath the broken skin. Then use some fake blood with a watery consistency to make the wound look fresh. To do the little boils, take a product called Tuplast and pour a dollop on your finger. Now let it settle a bit in the air and roll it into an untidy ball. Now using some spirit gum, you can safely dab a little onto the skin. Then take your boil and